Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about iOS 13.1 versus iOS 13.1.1, in particular a battery test on two specific devices. Now if you follow me here on the channel, you might have seen my coverage on iOS 13.1.1 released a few days back where Apple says that they're addressing an issue that could cause battery to drain quickly. Now according to my YouTube community poll, the two devices that were having the most issues with battery drained and actually heating issues as well are the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 6s Plus. So I took it upon myself to test both of these devices on iOS 13.1 and iOS 13.1.1 to see if Apple really improved the battery performance of these devices. Now I'll be testing more devices down the road. And just a quick side note, excuse my voice if it sounds a little different today. I am sick, I do have the flu, uh, but I wanted to share this information with you guys. Now the first thing I do wanna mention is that with both devices, I did run this test identical on both iOS 13.1 and 13.1.1 brightness was up to 80 percent the bluetooth and wi-fi was enabled and i took a lot of you guys suggestions on my previous battery test video so what i did was is i watched youtube videos for approximately one hour on both devices for both tests and listened to music for approximately two to three hours on both devices downloaded some app browsed the web and all the settings were identical on both devices for both tests and the same tasks were performed and i wanted to share with you guys the results to see if apple really really did address the issue at least on these two devices from iOS 13.1 to 13.1.1 battery draining issues. So let's go ahead and show you the time lapse. So what you're looking at here first is iOS 13.1.1. On the left we have the iPhone 7 Plus. On the right we have the iPhone 6S Plus. And as I mentioned for the first hour I watch YouTube videos for approximately one hour. I listen to music for two to three hours. I downloaded some apps. I browse the web. Just normal tasks on both devices as I previously mentioned. Now on iOS 13.1.1, the first device to die was actually the iPhone 6S Plus with six hours of on-screen time. Now, on iPhone 7 Plus, we actually have seven hours of on-screen time for iOS 13.1.1. And of course, we tested iOS 13.1 and the results were actually rather interesting. On the left, once again, the iPhone 7 Plus. On the right, the iPhone 6S Plus. The same task, once again, watching YouTube videos for about an hour, also listening to music, downloading some apps, browsing the web, just your normal task that you would perform as you use your device on a daily. Now the iPhone 6S Plus died with six hours, so that's identical to iOS 13.1. And the iPhone 7 Plus actually died with six hours and 30 minutes. Keep in mind, there's always that margin for error. What I'm looking at here and from these results, I can tell that Apple really did not address any battery concerns or any battery draining issues on these two devices in particular. So I'm going to continue testing to see which devices Apple did address. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.